What's going on riders? It's Paul with another ride home review and this week as you probably saw from all the posts and from all the things I'm going to be reviewing the much anticipated next installment of the Star Wars franchise uh, the, the Last Jedi and is directed by Ryan Johnston if you don't remember him he produced one uh, another favorite movie of mine um, or directed I'm sorry uh, Looper and it stars of course some of the regular cast Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher um, and then, uh, of course, Adam Driver and Daisy Ridley, John Boyega, Oscar Isaac, Domhnall Gleeson, um, returning in their roles, respectively. And, of course, uh, cameo appearance by Benicio Del Toro and Laura Dern. And also, so the synopsis is it takes place right after The Force Awakens. And so the First Order is on the heels of the Resistance after they destroyed the, Re the Republic, trying to wipe them out. And also, um, uh, Ray has sought out Luke Skywalker to uh, get training, um, and also to recruit him, obviously, to get him back into the Resistance, and and so uh, that's where our, our story is. Um, what I liked about this film is, of course, uh, you know, the continuation of the new characters of of uh, Poe, Ray, and Finn, and um, you know, uh, seeing the old and, and, uh, I liked a lot of the surprises in this and there's some surprises in this film. I'm not going to spoil it. I've been accused of doing that before. I'm not going to spoil it, but there's some cool, cool, uh, uh, turns in this film that I really, really enjoyed. I liked the buildup of the relationship between, uh, Kylo Ren and uh, Ray. I thought that was really cool. And I thought the chemistry between Daisy Ridley and Mark Hamill was, was very was really cool and of course you see different planets and creatures and stuff like that that is the normal Star Wars fair so you're not disappointed in there as, as well as the technology um, what I didn't care for is this is absolutely not the strongest of the Star Wars films to date um, it was an obvious act to uh, the way it was set up uh, I thought some of the lines were corny um, but you, you, you know, there was just some wasted characters. I, it just was like, you didn't build up, um, uh, there was no build up to some of the new characters to really get you to care about them. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I, but I'm not going to spoil the movie, but you know, there was just, there was just some, there, there was just some missing links, um, to it that, you know, it was a good movie and, and it carried the storyline, but there was just some, there was just some missing pieces, uh, to that, that you normally don't see or, or get from some of the other Star Wars movies. I mean, it's not prequel, uh, missing parts, but it's definitely not one of the stronger installments and it's set up, it leaves you, it leaves you hanging and, um, you know, and yeah, it's just, it's just one of those things where you're just like, Hmm, why did they do this? Or what, what happened here? Or, you know, um, and Phasma real disappointed in that character development, you know, the hype around that character and other mediums, um, just did not pay off in this film at all. Um, and I was disappointed with that, uh, and so, and then Kylo Ren character, uh, once again, turned into what he was in The Force Awakens. And, you know, you got a little tired of some of his antics. Um, you know, at some points he's really cool. Other points you just want to punch him in the face. So, anyway, let me know what you thought. Uh, I thought it was a me okay, okay movie. I mean, it was all right. But just let me know what you thought, uh, whether you thought it was a complete miss or a complete hit. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Uh, I know some people who hated it. So anyway, as always, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, subscribe to me on YouTube. So Star Wars, The Last Jedi, let me know what you think. All right, see you next week for the last film of the year. What will it be? Stay tuned.